Hey everyone, I'm Lily and I'm 13 and today I'm going to be talking about Abram's journey. So basically what happened in this story was Abram was a 75 year old man living in a place called Haran with his wife Sarai and his great amount of animals and um, an awesome house and lots of servants. But God said to him one day, leave your house and country and go to the place I will show you. God said, I will make you a great nation, and I will bless you. I will make your name great, and you will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you, and whoever curses you, I will curse. And all peoples on earth will be blessed through you. Now, I imagine Abram would have just brushed him off. Like, I have this amazing house here with tons of animals and lots of servants. I don't want to leave. But Abram didn't do that. So he took his wife, all the stuff they could carry, and set off. I imagine he was probably really scared. He remained faithful to God. What stood out for me in the story was firstly Abram's great trust in God, how he heard that God wanted him to leave and didn't really even know where exactly, but um, he was he did as he was instructed anyway. Uh, secondly was Sarah's great trust in her husband. You probably wouldn't be too happy if your spouse came up to you one day and said, we're moving, God told me we're moving, let's go. Um, you'd probably want to file for a divorce as quickly as possible, actually. But Sarah trusted her husband just as much as she trusted God. Um, what I learned about God in this passage was that everything in life is part of his plan for us. Abram was 75 years old when God called him out of his home to leave most of his things behind, his land and animals. But he remained faithful to God. Abram's life was changing around him, but he remained faithful. Abram probably didn't want to leave, but he remained faithful. Um, I think this story is sort of like what's happening uh, around us today. Something in all of our lives has made a big difference, made them more difficult or, or complicated, and has definitely made a big change. Um, like Abram, we don't really know what's going to happen or um, how we should react or what we should do, but we do know that this is a part of God's plans for us, God's plan for the world, and that we should trust Him and know that He will take care of us. I'm going to read a, a verse, uh, one of my favorite verses actually, um, from Jeremiah 29. It just reminds me of how God loves us and how his plan is so great for us. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper and not to harm you, plans to give you a hope and a future. Then you will call on me and come and pray to me and I will listen to you. You will seek me and find me when you seek, and when you seek me uh, with all your heart. I'm going to end in quick prayer. Uh, dear God, I want to thank you for stories like this. Um, because they just teach us that you are you have such a great plan in store for us. Um, I want to thank you for people like Abram, who even though times are hard, look to you. I want to, th um, I want to pray for people whose times are hard right now. Uh, the doctors and nurses, um, anyone who's lost a job to the virus, Policemen, truck, uh, truck drivers, anyone who has lost a family member or a loved one to this virus, I pray that even though they may doubt, I pray they they look to you and pray to you and know that even though this is all awful and and sad, that they know that you love them and this is all part of your plan for them. Amen.